thank you very much. My name is Sheila Brennan. I am the district governor elect this year, and you are all blessed to have me as your district governor next year. We are going to have an amazing year, and I can't tell you, I have been giddy all day just knowing this was going to be our first get together, and this is day one of the journey and the adventure that we are going to be on. So with that, with the start of our session right now, I would like everybody to just, we're going to do this fast. 725, we're shutting down, just so you know. And I promise you, I will be conscious of your time. We will start and we will stop on time every session, okay? So I am going to call everybody in order of the pictures on my screen. Just give us your name and your club so we can hear your voice and then mute yourself again, please. <clears throat> then I will start in the upper left-hand corner with our wonderful producer, Mr. Prepets. Will you introduce yourself, please? Hi, Dan Kazbersky, better known as Kaz, over here in the Gainesville Haymarket. I'm the producer for Pre-Pets and probably C-Pets and RLI. Nice to meet everybody. Wonderful. Thank you. Dr. Walisha Gill. Hello, everyone. I'm delighted to be on this journey with you. I'm from Centerville Chantilly Rotary Club. Thank you. Jim Holcomb. Uh, yes, I'm uh, with Bailey's Crossroads. Wonderful. Wavery. This is Wavery Brown, and I'm with the Lake Ridge Rotary. Wonderful. Madeline. Madeline Lawson, and I'm with the Tapperhannock uh, Rotary. Wonderful. Thank you. Jane. Yes, and I'm with the Rotary Club of Herndon. Wonderful. Daisy. Daisy Rojas, and I'm with the Rotary Club of Albemarle. Wonderful. Thank you. Now I know how to pronounce it right. <laughs> Mark Anderson. Hey, everybody. Good evening. Mark Anderson, Great Falls. Thank you. Sharice. Good evening. I'm Sharice Taylor with the Rotary Club of Stafford. Wonderful. Thank you. Jack. You're on mute, Jack. Hold your, hold your space bar down. You're, we're still not hearing you, Jack. Press and hold your space bar, Jack. Hmm. Okay, we're not hearing you at all, Jack. Can I, I can't unmute you. There he is. There I, you I go. Got the space bar down. Okay. I'm Jack White, Matthews County Rotary, little second smallest county in Virginia. More land mass Marvel. than Arlington, but not near the people. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you, Jack. Juanita. I wanted to call a Rotary E-Club of Global Peace Builders. Thank you. Bill. Bill Laws, North Stafford Rotary. Thank you. David. Hi, everyone. David Boss from the Arlington Rotary Club. Thank you. Edwin. Good evening. Edwin Hahn. I'm with the Rotary Club of Ashburn. Wonderful. Elisa. Did I say it wrong again? <laughs> No, I'm Elisa Berman. I'm with the Herndon Rotary Satellite Club. Welcome. Roger. Hi, everybody. Uh, Roger Higgins with Blue Ridge Mountains Rotary Club in Charlottesville. Thank you. Amelia. Amelia Stansel, the Rotary Club of Warrington. Thank you. Kenny. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Kenny Loveless from the Rotary Club of Manassas. We're the noon club. Wonderful. Bob. Hello, everybody. I'm Bob Green from the Singing Rotary Club of Fairfax. Wonderful. <clears throat> Denny. Well, a 
Denny Coons. Oh, I can. Uh, Denny Coons from Alexandria. Wonderful. Thank you. Roy? Ray. Sorry, Ray. Yeah, Ray Wolf at the West Springfield Club. Nice to meet you. Bruce. Hi, I'm Bruce Tinker from Alexandria South. Okay, thank you. Stan. Hi, yes, Stan. I'm, Stan. I'm sorry, go ahead, Stan. I apologize. Yeah, I'm uh, Stan Koloff with the Middlesex Rotary Club. Also a past president, but I have agreed to serve a, a second term, uh, which may, uh, well, we'll see how that works out. That's wonderful. We'll be asking you questions, that's for sure. Dan. You say Dan? Yeah, I did. I apologize. I, I, I thought you said Stan, uh, Dan before. Uh, this is Dan Fields. I'm sorry I logged on late from the Fredericksburg Rotary Club. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Oh, my picture's all switched. Steve. Hi, Steve Chapin, Rotary Club of Leesburg. Wonderful. Carol. Hi, everyone. Carol Robinson, Rotary Centerville Chantilly. Thank you. Lou. Lou Pack, you're muted. There we go. Sorry. Uh, good evening. Lou Pack from Dallas Airport Rotary Club. Nice to meet you. Renee. Hi, guys. Renee Laws. I'm with the North Stafford Rotary Club, and I'm behind Sheila in line for district governor. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Faiz, welcome. Hi, Faiz from Roslyn Fort Myer. Uh, I'm currently president and uh, I was elected to be president elect for a second term. Thank you so much. Nathan. Nathan Dankwa, Woodbridge Rotary Club uh, of Virginia. Wonderful. Thank you. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Johnson, Rotary Club of Alexandria Central. Thank you. Valerie. Oh, I'm Valerie Butler, the district secretary, as well as I'm uh, from Rotary Club of Stafford. Thank you. And Diane Hill. Hi, everybody. Um, it's Diane from Falls Church Rotary, and I serve on the Chesapeake Pets Public Image Committee, and um, happy to support everybody in DG e. Sheila. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. It's wonderful. By the time we are through this and then pets, we will really know each other well. And by the time we get to pets, you're going to be having so much fun just getting to see everybody that you see in little squares right now. So I want to explain real quick here um, the explorers. As you know, uh, what I explained in my, the first email I sent out that they have started many, many years ago. The district governor nominees start their training process in line for governor and they started calling themselves a class and they all work together for the entire three year period. So then they started giving each other names and themes. And for a long time, they were kind of silly and just a lot of fun. You know, we had the flamingos and all kinds of things, sneakers. Well, last year's district governor elect, when they were nominees, they decided to up the game and they started make, they called themselves the galaxy class. And they were shooting for the stars and really uh, embedded that throughout all of their training and are still using it this year with their club presidents and the districts. Our class decided we're going to be the explorers. With all the work that the Galaxy class is doing, we are now going to take the lead and we are going to lead the way for generations to come. 
So every email you see from me, the subject line will be explorers leading the way for generations to come. So you know it is something from me directly as your district governor elect and as the district governor. And that way it will stand out from all the other mail that you get, because I know we get a lot of rotary mail. But to start us off on the right foot, I thought it'd be really nice if we took a moment and heard a couple of words from our current district governor, Pat Borowski. Good evening, my fellow Rotarians, and welcome to District 7610 Club Leadership Development Program for incoming presidents, or better known as prepets. I am your District Governor, Pat Borowski, for this year from the Bailey's Crossroads Club. And I have to tell you, you are going to have a wonderful time developing as a team, learning new skills to keep your club successful and doing good in the world and you are gonna be led by one inspirational individual who is a good friend of mine, and that is District Governor-elect Sheila Brennan, along with current club president, Willisha Gill. The program they have planned will give you skills to lead your club and translate for you to personally lead within your community, and certainly they are very applicable to leading at your profession. So without further ado, enjoy, learn, think, get ideas, and work with your club this year so you can start putting those leadership skills into practice. Thank you. Yay. Okay, if you haven't met her yet, you will soon. She is very active with getting out to all the clubs and doing her club visits. So as she mentioned, Walisha Gill has been my right arm, my partner, my buddy, helping develop everything that you have coming over this next two years. Walisha will be our district leadership development and district trainer starting July 1st. So you will be getting to know her very well as we go through all of this training, the CPETS training, and everything else that we're going to talk about in a little bit. So, Dan, if it's all right with you, I'd like to share my screen. And I wanted to just tonight, oh, it's still disabled. Tonight, we are just going to kind of review our schedule. Where is my spreadsheet? My spreadsheet is on this one. Oop, that was it. Did I close it, Dan? Sorry about this. I did. Okay. This should be familiar to you. I sent this out before. I just wanted to run through this real quick and show you exactly how the whole schedule is working. We Tonight is only an introduction. Starting the 18th is our first real training session. And that is going to be led by Walisha Gill leading Rotarians. As I stated, one of the requirements to become president is that you must go through the leadership, the learning center, and whoever has their Zoom on, could you please, their microphone, could you please mute? Thank you. Um, so if you go into myrotary.org, and go to the Learning Center, there is a whole class program for class club presidents. We are going to try to do some of them together as a group if you want to. This is optional, this hour. If you do not attend these,
then you have to do all these classes as your assignments in between the sessions before getting ready, before we meet at the next session. All right. So this is your training hour. It's one hour, 5.30 to 6.30 with a hard stop. We're not going to shut off the Zoom. We're going to just take a five minute break and go right into the session. Okay. Each week, as you can see, we have a two week break for Thanksgiving. And then there's also a two week break for the holidays in the end of December. So our last night will be the 17th of February and you'll have a good 10 day break or so before you go to pets. Okay. And you should all have this in the emails that I sent you and it will be loaded up on the training resource library on the website as well. Valerie and I are working on loading everything up there. Now, one thing I do wanna show you, I'm gonna bring it over here. I sent you a sheet that looked very close to this with November 4th on it. That was your training and your planning document for tonight. This is for our next session. Every, every week when we meet, the night after we meet, you're going to get an email from me with just the plan of action for the next training session. The very top shows you what chapter in your lead your club manual you should read. It, chapter two is all about leading Rotarians and everything in this session right here is about leading Rotarians, it, everything is coordinated together so that it all flows straight through. The training from 5.30 to 6.30 is change in diversity and it's all about leading Rotarians. It's really a dynamite session. If you can make it at 5.30, I would really encourage you to come. Before we meet on the 18th, you are expected to complete this section. Go in the learning center, do the working with your club leaders training class. It's only 30 minutes and the leading change session. Okay. There are three attachments that were sent out. The Rotary Community Assessment Tool all of these, you should have these already with an email that you already received. And this action session is club needs. What do you want your legacy to be July 1st? of 2023, when you are done being the club president. Go through each of these questions or just to make you think and start jotting notes down. So when you come to the session on the 18th, you should have already gone through all of this. At the bottom of each of the documents that comes, we'll have all the information for the next lesson. This is the Zoom, the training that you will receive on December 2nd, which is going to be running your meetings and your club leadership session. And the speaker that week is going to be our district governor. She did an amazing job on this last year. And I asked her if she would do it again because I think it's really important that you also get to know her because she will have a very important role next year when you're president as the immediate past district governor. She will also still be my right arm. We're gonna kind of trade places where she will be supporting us and helping us as we go through our journey, okay? So if you have questions, anytime you receive this assignment, 
you're only going to get one week at a time. I don't want to send you a whole stack of papers. It'll just confuse you. We'll take it one week at a time. We'll deal with each session individually. All right. So once you go through and understand all of the different sessions that you're going to go through, then before you know it, February 17th is going to be here and you're going to be getting ready for pets. But by the time you get down here, you will be ready for pets. In addition to all your training, I wanted to take a few minutes tonight. And believe me, tonight's the only night I'm talking the whole time because you don't want to hear from me. We have a lot of really great speakers and subject matter experts coming in to speak to you and talk to you. As you can see here, past district governor, Jonathan Lucas, and we have a current club president that is going to be the new membership chair. So he is coming in to teach one night. So you can get to know who that membership chair is going to be next year. Lori Menzel is an actual, she's a Rotary International Foundation employee but she's in our district and she is going to talk to us about foundation. Amelia Stansel is actually on the district right now, but she's also sitting in the audience with you. She is a president elect and is going to do a session that she started last year with us that is out of this world that really helps you understand and go through service projects and fundraisers. And Dave Borowski is our governor's husband, who right now is our public image chair. And he's going to come and speak to you. And you've met Diane, you have met Walisha. So you're meeting a lot of key district people as you go through this. So you know who you can talk to next year when anything comes up. In addition, we have lots of events that we're in the middle of working on. Let me, let me bring the view up on this a little bit, if I can. Can I raise the, can I zoom it? Let's do 125 and make it a little bigger, all right? Be, we're right now in the, beginning of pre-pets. Pre-pets will go from November to February. C-pets is right on top of it. So block this weekend on your calendar. This is going to be, and I'm going to send this to you. You do not have to write all this down. Okay. You will get this with tonight's email. So you can block these dates. The C-pets Chesapeake President Elect Training Seminar is going to be at the Westfield Marriott in Chantilly. It's an in person session. The district conference dates are set. It's going to be at a Hilton down in Charlottesville. The awards and installation banquet is set for the 25th of June next year. It'll be down in the Gloucester or Matthews area. And I'm hoping you'll all want to come watch your district governor get sworn in. And if you do, if you would like, I will swear you in in person there as well. Our foundation banquet is not a banquet. It's going to be a virtual presentation this year. As you know, the Rotary International Convention is in the United States this year. And it is set for June 4th through 8th. Rich Story is our district contact on that in Houston. And we have quite a few Rotarians already going. They really have a lot of activities planned. And we will not have another Rotary International Convention in our, in our country for five more years. So this is your chance, if you've ever wanted to go to one, to that tickets fly down and come party with my husband and I in Houston, Texas. Next year, my year as district governor and our year as 
the Explorer class, we had the opportunity to go to Melbourne, Australia in May of 2023. I'm already working on it. And then our district conference for our class is going to be, this is not confirmed yet, but this is what I'm working on right now at the Great Wolf Lodge in the spring of 2023. Okay, I will send this to you tonight so that you can start blocking dates on your calendar. Now, when I went through this, I did not talk about this column here at all. This is a social activity that we are going to build into each of these sessions. As you know, this session goes from 6.35 to 7.50. That's a very strange time frame. What we are doing is at seven o'clock, we are going to take a hard, we're gonna stop training and we are gonna do a 15 minute social each session. You don't have to do something every session. You only have to do something one session, all right? I have paired up all of the PEs by area. I split it so that you're not doing, you're not working with an area you're right next to to get you to know each other. You will be, you have to email each other to start with and trade phone numbers. This is for next, <coughs> pardon me, the next session. Daisy and Jim will be introducing each other on the 18th to the whole group of us. I need a sip of water, excuse me. The two of you will reach out, trade phone numbers, <coughs> call each other and talk to each other about personal things, not rotary. We wanna know who you are as an individual. And believe me, this is a very powerful facilitation tool that will really help you. I'm gonna turn this off now that will really help you get to know each other and help us get to know everybody in the entire class, which will be really fun. So I will send that list to you tonight with the email and the list of events so that you have both of them for your calendars and you can write down the date that you are going to be called upon to interview someone. When you do your interviews, I'm gonna change my view. I wanna see your pictures and not mine. Gallery, there we go. Now I can see you all, wonderful. When we do our 15 minute session, you only have 75 seconds to talk. I don't, we don't need a book. We just wanna have a little bit of an introduction so that we get an idea of what we all are. And we're even gonna do ourselves. It's not just the PEs that are gonna do this. And if you go over the 75 seconds, like I told Jim Holcomb, I have a timer. So I will give you a hard stop because I respect everybody's time. And I want everybody to have an opportunity to talk. And our speakers are expecting a 15 minute break and then a start again. So I wanna respect our speakers time as well. But it's really, it really is going to be a very fun opportunity. And you have to take a break and be able to laugh with each other. But we wanna hear non-rotary things like the fact that I have three twin brothers, okay? And you won't know what that means until February 17th when I have to be interviewed, all right? So just think about things like that, all right? So that's all the real business that I have. Are there any questions? We have a few minutes right now. 
I do have several of them announcements I need to make, but I'll put those off for about 10 or 15 minutes. And anybody that would like to ask questions, is there, let me ask Renee, is there anything in the chat box? Any questions? Not currently. We don't we don't have anything in there yet, ma'am. Okay. But, but there's a raised hand, Sheila. Uh, Daisy there is. Oh, Daisy, please. Uh, actually, I did send you a direct message, Sheila. <laughs> Oh, um, okay. My email is incorrect on that form. So if you wouldn't mind changing that before it gets sent out to everyone, I, I've, oh, I've put the you. correct email in the chat box directly to you. Okay. Thank you. You told yes. me that yesterday. When it's we okay. Talked. All right. Thank you for putting it in there because we're saving the chat yeah. and um, we are saving all the videos and they will be on the Rotary. I'm going to show you the Rotary website in a minute when we go through any other questions. Anybody else want to talk? Me, hey, Cherise. Hi, Cherise. Hi. I um I don't think the only email I've gotten from you is the one that had the schedule um, for today. So okay. Yeah, I didn't receive any of the other ones. Okay, I have a couple of new folks to send the prior emails and attachments to. So I will add you to that list. And we do have a new PE that just got assigned today. So she will be with us next time from the Culpepper Club as well. So hopefully over the next week or two, we will get the other clubs filled in that are missing their PEs. And then I know that we will have two satellite chairs that will also be joining us in addition to Elisa. Okay, and Elisa, I'll get you the rest of the email information as well so that everybody has everything. Sheila, okay. it, this is Amelia. Um, are you planning on recording all of these so that if there's ones that we do end up having to miss for various reasons that we can make up yes every session will be recorded okay and, and how do we get those they will we will announce when they are added up on the district website they will all be let me go to the district website right now i will show you exactly where they will be located This is the beautiful brand new district website. If you have never seen it, I'm telling you, it's absolutely gorgeous. Every single tap. I won't tell you who designed it and who worked on it for two years. So here's our brand new district website. It is absolutely very streamlined. Easy to find the, uh, We're not seeing it, Sheila. It's we're uh, still you know, showed us we're seeing your spreadsheet still. It's got oh, did I pick the wrong monitor? Yeah. I picked the wrong monitor. And there I am bragging about all that. There it is, screen two. Okay, here's our district website. District7610.org. And it's brand new. It's only been out, what, Valerie, about four months, five months. And this is my favorite part. I had so much fun going to every city. We're going to get Gloucester Point in here as well. Um, and getting pictures from every city. And this scrolls through every single location where we have a club. And if you click on it, it'll bring up the club's website. It is absolutely beautiful. So when you have time, please peruse it. This is brand new as of today. All the entire youth program link has been completely updated as of today. So, but what I want to show you is this wonderful resources tab. This should become your friend because there's so much information in here. And right down here is the training library. 
This is from pre-pets last year. You can see all of the information that was put out here last year. I am not gonna send you all this information again, okay? Valerie and I are gonna work on Tuesday and make sure that our current information is updated each week. So we don't duplicate everything completely for you. So like this from last year was the first week and it's got Pat Borowski's district calendar visit for this year. All right. And all her emails that she sent out this year. So this is where the links will be. The date will be at the top of each. These are the links to the Zooms from last year's pre-pets, okay? The, I don't know why these webs are showing up. That's a duplicate of everything in here. But this will all be cleaned up and our new information will be right on top. We'll do it one session at a time. The link will be there and the and any attachments that I emailed you will be here. Anne is going to send the video to the PI committee as soon as the meeting is over. Yeah. Okay? Yep. So you have that. All right. Any other questions? I see a lot there was of a comment in the chat. Um, but I'm not sure if it was already addressed. I'm sorry, let me step out. I'm not sure if it was already addressed. Someone said that they, they saw a screenshot of a schedule received earlier, but they've gotten only a schedule in a book. I don't know if that was addressed already. Okay. The schedules, there's two schedules, the pre-pet schedule and the event schedule. You have not received the event schedule yet. You will get that in tonight's email. You're going to get the one page document for the 18th of November session. You're going to get the social activity spreadsheet with the partner of who you have to call and interview and the date that you are presenting. And you'll get the list of all of the different conferences and events. So you can mark your calendars with all everything that's coming up in the next year or so. All right. And I have, I'm going to save the chat. So I will have the, oh, Dan put the event spreadsheet and the social activity spreadsheet in the chat if you want to grab it right now. If you click on it, it'll ask you to download it. All right, let me go to the second screen here. Does anybody have any other questions? Renee, I, or Sheila, I'm sorry, I have one question. Um, Absolutely. I was a Marine, so we're not real smart. And Renee can attest to that. Her husband was a Marine. And He's on the screen. Oh, I saw that, I saw that. Well, he will He will back me up on this. We're, we're a little slow, but, but my question is, from 5.30 to 6.30, that's training we can get off of the... Um, off of the district website if we want to do it in advance. Other ways we can log on to the same Zoom link you sent us tonight and go through it as a group. And yes. then head around from 6.30 to 7.30 to do the additional, is that correct? That is absolutely correct. Okay, See thanks. how smart you are? Well, you know, <laughs> I'm a little slow, so. Uh, I, hey, I, work, I work for Department of Navy and Human Resources you know how, 17 you know how slow years. Are then, so. I service Marine Corps. <laughs> We need a little, a little extra attention. All right, thank you. Certainly, certainly. Hey, well, Sheila, I, can't... I have a question for you. Yes, yes. I've got a question for you. What's the, uh, what's the turnaround on resetting? I got locked out of my account today. I think out of your Zach TB account? Uh, uh, no, the uh, uh, Rotary Club account. The Rotary Club account. My Rotary? Yes. Oh, okay. And we ha you have to go in and set you reset your password. I did. I requested, but then it's 
I got like that. I sent an email, haven't heard back. So. Oh, okay. They usually respond to those in less than 24 hours. That goes right up to RI in Evanston and mm -hmm. the technology staff there. They have a customer service staff that resets it for you. Sure. Make sure you check your spam folders too for any emails that come through for them. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Okay. Now, Sheila Regal. Yes, I, Ray. Um, your 530 thing, uh, is that mandatory? Because uh, I can't get in. I, I'm lucky to get here at 630. I still work. Exactly. Exactly. I think you and I spoke on the phone, didn't we? You can yeah. do you can do all of the training online on my rotary like over the weekend most of those classes are only 15 minutes long and, and, and those classes are on the district site they're on my.rotary.org it's in the okay. welcome if you look for the welcome email that starts with the word welcome it's in there how to get to my rotary Okay, and if you have any questions, please, and I want you to hear me now and always know, call me, email me, text me. I will respond. I try to respond immediately. This weekend, I got caught getting all the last minute stuff done here. So the couple of calls I got, I, I was a little slow in returning, but that is definitely not my style. I do return the calls immediately. So please feel free to reach out to me, reach out to Renee, reach out to Valerie or Walisha, any one of us. We will make sure you have all our contact information. Okay. All right. With that, I will say good night. Yes, Kenny. I'm, I'm not a Marine, but I can be a little slow sometimes as well. So I feel your pain. But if we opt to do the online, as opposed to getting here at 530, does it automatically pick up and record that we've completed that session? Or do we when, still have to somehow go in manually and update it? When you, when you finish your session, you have to download your certificate for the class. That's how it gets registered as being complete. If you don't download it, it'll always show that you still have more work to do. I learned that the hard way because during COVID, I did 72 classes because I am that crazy Rotarian. Plus being in line for district governor, I thought I should really go through all of these and see what I don't know and try to, and I go back to them all the time to find answers to things. So, but I did find out that I didn't download all my certificates. So I had to go through and download them. But yes, you can do them all online. And then so, if we if we do not do it online and we and we participate in the 530 session, do we still have to download a certificate or do you check us check the box for us? I will check the box for you. And it's not all of them. There's still a few you have to go online and do. So it's because there's no way we could fit all 11 into six weeks. So we just went and picked the ones that would be uh, very appropriate for a big group session like this. It's the first time we're trying this. So We'll see how it goes. December 2nd will be our first real learning center classes. The next one is a presentation that takes place of two of the classes that Renee Laws, our district governor nominee is going to do. It is an outstanding presentation on diversity and leadership. So it should be very good. We have several PEs that have already told me they've already completed all the classes already. I was really impressed. I knew I got the right people. I think it's awesome. So I know I'm not the only Rotary Geek in this district. So, <laughs> all 
All right, let me go to page two, make sure I'm not missing anybody over here. All right, Fayez, can you give us one minute of advice being a current president? What was your favorite thing? What is your favorite thing so far as the club president? You are muted, sir. Uh, working as a team and uh, uh, try to convince members to go out of the box. Uh, uh -oh. uh, because, you know, uh, we have like uh, uh, old members that uh, they they do what used to do uh, and uh, no more. So that's why uh, uh, this needs to be uh, like listening and convincing and patience and uh, uh, much work uh, to do as example uh, so that when they see uh, any step that uh, succeed uh, they are convinced uh, so we can go further wonderful thank you okay and steve was it you that is also a second year president steve chapin from leesburg no, I've only served as secretary. Okay. Who is the other second year president? It's, it's Gee, oh, that would be me, uh, Stan yeah. Koloff with the Stan. Yeah, I was okay, president of the Stan. I was president of the Middlesex Rotary Club uh, 2017-2018. And uh, we we had a great club that worked very hard that year and uh, we were fortunate to be awarded the best club in the district that year. We are a small club and but I have to thank Norm Wood, who I think you probably know, who unfortunately passed away um, that, that's the very same year. And I, uh, he was absolutely a key person, ideal area governor, if there ever was one that uh, helped us tremendously there in area three clubs. So uh, that's um, um, a, lot, a lot of thanks and praise goes, goes to Norm Wood, he helped us uh, tremendously. Our club yeah, worked hard, wonderful. did lots of activities and uh, and it was a very successful year, and I was very pleasantly surprised to receive that award and certainly wonderful. recognize Norm Wood in that regard. That's wonderful. Thank you, Stan. And I'm so glad you brought up the area governor. As you all know, we all have area governors, and they are not here tonight. Um, they are not going to be with us in pre-pets, but you will work together side by side at C-pets. They will be sitting with you for parts of the sessions. They will be going through their own training. They are such a key person in your life when you are club president. They are your go-to individual, especially if you can't reach me, you go straight to your area governor, your area governor will know, may not know all the answers, but they will know where to get the answers. And that is one thing that I will promise you as well. I will never try to answer a question for you by guessing. If I do not know the answer, I will tell you I do not know but I also know how to find the answers and I will get back to you with the answer. So I've had too many bosses in my life who just wanted to get the question answered and then leave. And then I find out later, well, it wasn't quite right. So that is how I have always operated the whole time I worked for the government. And that's how I will operate my rotary career as well. I have no problem saying, I'll have to look that up for you, but I'll get back or double check it and get back to you. And I will get back to you. I look forward to all of us becoming friends together and having such a great experience and journey. Thank you for being on this journey with me. I know we're going to have a great time. And with that, I am going to release you all and I will see you all on the 18th of November.